on the role of green technologies in spurring economic growth. And I commend the chairwoman for calling this hearing and look forward to hearing the testimony of this very distinguished panel that we have here this morning. Um, before we begin, I'd like to personally thank uh, Ms. Andrea Lucky uh, for making the trip all the way from Cincinnati uh, today. And I'll be formally introducing her here shortly. Um, energy is the lifeblood of the economy. U.S. economic prosperity is closely tied to the availability of reliable and affordable supplies of energy. Uh, it's not just the United States that is going to need more energy in the coming years. Our traditional energy supplies will be increasingly strained by dramatic growth in global demand. Today's topic not only has far-reaching implications for our economy, but also our future energy needs as well. Great strides have been made in developing alternative fuel sources with a large amount of attention being given to renewable fuels. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, wind and solar power also uh, offer great promise to the quest for alternative resources. We've talked about ethanol, although there have been challenges there, biodiesel, there are many sources that, that we do need to consider. I'm certain that further research into alternative energy sources will yield new technology and techniques for producing energy that most of us here today in this room probably can't even fathom at this point in time. Um, the in industries that produce this green technology are relatively new and are still evolving. Small businesses with their new ideas and willingness to take risks to innovate will be at the forefront of these industries. I look forward to working uh, with the chair to find ways to help spur growth in these exciting new small businesses. Unlike some others on Capitol Hill, I firmly believe that this search for new energy sources should not be a zero-sum game, which is why I believe exploring these new energy production and conservation technologies is important. Our economy is driven by energy, and we must explore ways to meet our energy needs. That means looking for ways to increase production of everything we need, including oil, coal, and nuclear capabilities, in addition to these new methods. Uh, neither must we <clears throat> excuse me, neglect the current reality that without dependable, reliable, and homegrown fossil fuels, our economy will continue to falter. While looking to the future of energy independence, we have to make certain the federal government is doing all it can to provide the fuel our current economy needs to grow. Simply put, we must balance research initiatives and incentives into renewable fuel technologies that will eventually replace our current reliance on fossil fuels while ensuring we have an abundant and affordable source of energy right now. Unfortunately, I do not believe that the major energy bills we have considered this Congress have achieved this balance. These bills create no new energy sources to speak of, and if anything, make fossil-fueled energy uh, more expensive, which in turn will make us even more dependent on foreign sources. This new energy technology these new energy technologies that will be discussed here today offer great promise to the American economy now and in the future, but we must also be able to maintain our current energy production while fostering growth in these exciting new fields. Again, Madam Chair, I appreciate your calling this hearing and look forward to hearing the uh, testimony from our very esteemed panel here this morning. I yield back my time. Thank you.